All right, gonna record a game that I just played that I thought was pretty fun. This is me and Blue as the Mayans. I had random sieve on, but I'm guessing it wasn't random sieve or I lucked into the same sieve I was gonna play. And then this is uh, Ethiopians in the red. Yeah, it's around 1200 ELO, just, just around there. And I'm basically, I mean, as soon as I saw Ethiopians, I was thinking skirmishers and feudal age into eagles because their archers are stronger. I mean, I can um, make mine cheaper for, or for, they cost less, so potentially I could outmass, but uh, I figured it's just safer to go into eagles instead. So that's kind of the goal. And yeah, here we go. So I haven't really perfected the Mayan Dark Age yet. Uh, if I just play the regular Dark Age, like six food, four wood, boars, and then berries, um, I tend to not have enough food to click up right at 20 bills. I usually go 21 pop archers. So I've been experimenting with when to send the first boar lure villager out, so I went before the fourth lumberer. Sometimes I go right after the first lumberer. I'm kind of trying it out. Um, this seems to work okay. But yeah. So far so good. Pretty smooth. Um, where's the TC idle? Yeah, so. TC idle time so far so good. I know I have some in Dark Age. I could, I'll probably hit 10 or 15 seconds in Dark Age. Probably gonna have some right now, I'm guessing. Eh, maybe not. I don't know if I remembered to force drop, so we'll see. The only problem is sometimes I kill the boar like right next to the sheep I was getting. So it's hard to get this sheep. Because <laughs> it's just hard to click on it when the boar is right on it. Yeah, seven seconds already. Let's look at the scouting. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Pretty similar. <clears throat> All right. How's it going over here? Got the first boar. Oh, pushing in some deer. Second boar. Eh, not quite yet. Getting the second boar in. Yeah, my berries are nice. Ready to go. I think I forgot to task one of the sheep villagers to this next boar. So I think, yeah, he goes and kills another sheep, so that's not the greatest, but it's okay. Alright, there's the boar lure. Check the scouting. Yeah, far so good. <clears throat> Alright, so looking at the maps, I didn't really have a backwood, so I wasn't happy about that. And these look like the most solid wood lines. I probably could have gone to this one. But I hadn't quite scouted it right off the bat. I only saw a couple trees and wasn't sure what it looked like or if it had a pond. And this one maybe could have gone to that one too. It seemed a little far. But uh, it's probably the same distance. But yeah, forward wood, forward gold. Somewhat, yeah, forward berries. Yeah, actually, I basically just have backstone. That's it. Not ideal. This is a nice backwood. And another, another one a bit far. But yeah, back berries. Kind of side gold. It's a little bit to the back. And then forward stone. So we kind of have like an inverted, <laughs> inverted map. But anyway, let's see. Yeah, so I, I found the lumber camp in the house and the berries. And then, yeah, he found the houses. Whoops. Am I up? So 35 seconds of TC time to feudal. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's like a villager and then some. Oh, yeah, but I saw the barracks. I must have seen it already. Let's see. No, I wonder why I small walled already. Weird. I know that I saw the barracks and I was like, oh, I should just small wall. I thought I had already found it. 
Oh, that's not what it was. That's not what it was. I saw this villager go to gold really early. That's what it was. Oh, what time was that? Yeah, this. I saw this. Um, when I was looking with my scout. And so I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be men at arms. And that's why I started small walling. Okay, that makes sense. And then I think I left these in a little too long. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, he's dodging the shots. I knew once I saw this, I was like, oh, this is going to be a tough game. <laughs> this is going to be a tough game. But yeah, I was hoping to go one range, one range, and then just uh, queue up skirms. Although knowing that these guys were coming out, I should have known that it'd be hard to just go straight skirms because he has the man at arms. <clears throat> but yeah, I like the base wall. I mean, the man at arms, maybe I could have, I probably had enough time to wall to this, but oh well. At any rate, I still, you know, I'm walled in. He can't really hit me anywhere with the man at arms. So yeah, here they come. I should have tracked it better. I, I ran away and then I tried to find it and I was like, ah, oh, I, I don't know where it is, but it's probably pretty close to my base. So I just went to keep scouting. So yeah, I saw this, so I expected him to come from this side, which makes sense. The berries are here. Be probably pretty good to get me off of berries. But he saw the flag, so he probably thought it was an archer. And uh, it was not. The skirms. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already up to 40. Oh my god, and counting. Idle time, idle time, idle time, idle time. Yeah, it's gonna go over a minute, I'm sure. Boom. Over a minute of idle time already. And we're only 12 minutes into the game, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so I did manage to close this off, but I, I think I had time to go even further up. Yeah, so here they are. I'm like, oh, yep, here are the man-at-arms. I'm still trying to keep skirm production up. I don't usually go skirms in Feudal Age. I'm, my eco balance isn't great. I think I still have too many on gold. But that's okay. And I'm probably on gold too early. Meanwhile, very peaceful here. I was wondering how this guy died. I wasn't really paying attention. He probably killed him with a villager when I wasn't looking. Yep. And... Do it. Boink. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Yeah, I should have known he was going to try to come from this. Yeah, this doesn't work out. Dude, I think I got the house up. I wonder what happened here. Did I manage to get the house? Oh, okay. He's pausing for a second. Does he see the guy? Yeah, he does. Okay, I just barely get the house up. Yeah, he doesn't make it. <laughs> I try to run too late, too slow. Okay, whatever. It's really hard for me to do all the APM necessary to keep this going, to keep dropping farm. My wood, I was struggling with the wood because of the skirmishers. So I'm like, huh, let's see how good he is with the scout. Let's see, I got some damage, but he immediately reacted. So it's like, well, can't really kill them while the scout's alive. So I make a spearman, yep. Make a spearman. He's probably got an archer mass. Yeah, he's got a huge military actually. 14 military to 7. And without the man at arms and the scout, it's way less scary. I mean, I didn't get any upgrades in feudal. He's getting fletching. So that's going to put me behind. I'm trying to afford another lumber camp because at this point I can't have like 15 people on one lumber camp. That's not great. But I'm worried because I'm like, the archers are going to come and both of these are rangeable. Anywhere I could chop wood would be rangeable at this point. <clears throat> but I send the spearmen in and the skirms. I'm like, let's just see what damage I can get here. I'm like, come on, attack this scout. Nice. Okay, scout goes down. That helps. It's not ideal, but it's okay. I want to see if I can get by without dropping a tower. So that's my goal right now, especially because I have enough gold for Castle Age already, and I'm just trying to build up the food. And, and yeah, trying to build up the food. 
And then I saw Fletching, but I didn't see the d defense. So I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm a little behind because technically he can outrange me if he micros to kill all my scrims. But I didn't expect at this elo for that to be like a huge issue. But I don't know how this guy got totally out of position. Like, whoa, whoa, get back. I don't think he makes it. And, he, and he's on what? One, eight, no, five HP. And dead. Okay. I'm like, all right, this is going to be a little tricky, but I'll do what I can. I'm close to clicking. I think I get wheelbarrow soon. Yeah, I'm on the way. I'm getting wheelbarrow now. So I'm hoping that I can go up right after wheelbarrow's done. This was a smart move. I'm like, let me wall this side off. Get a little bit more defense. I don't, I don't know why I placed this. It's not a good idea. But he keeps running, so it's fine. I think I saved this vill. But yeah, I'm trying to micro this and save him and get everybody in the TC. It's, it's not working out. But he gets away. Whew, close one. I'm getting some damage. I don't know if he checked that I had no upgrades, but he doesn't even need the hill to win this, honestly. I get the man at arms with the TC, which is awesome. I plug up the hole, he stays alive, thank god. And I think the market goes up. But yeah, I finished wheelbarrow and couldn't go up, so I made another vill. Oh, at this point, my LTC is lower than his, so that's good. I'm happy about that. <coughs> How's the vill count? 35 to 36. Yeah, I am behind. Still. But I do have wheelbarrow, so that's kind of not too bad, actually, because wheelbarrow's three villagers. The time of three villagers, so I'm kind of still up by one. And then, yeah, I finished this wall, which is really good, because then this, they can't run away. They have to go this way to get out. I'm pretty happy about that. And then she gets stuck on the outside. I don't remember what happens to her. <laughs> she probably dies. Yeah, I can't fight this. Like, he actually has... 17 to 3 to 2 military. Pretty sure I lose these two guys too. And I have a lot of worker efficiency. Like, it's really bad because I'm trying to micro all this crap. This is where I'm like, crap, I'm going to have to build a tower. I can't, I can't not build a tower. So, let's get the tower up. Getting the tower up, I take a guy off a farm to finish the barracks. I'm like, well, at least I can go into eagles now, hopefully. If I can get enough gold, but it's going to be really hard for me to get gold. Meanwhile, he's chilling. Double lumber, or double mining camp, refresh the lumber camp. Look, it's looking great over there. Yeah, the tower does get up, thankfully. <laughs> I just forgot about her completely. I mean, it's smart to keep idling me off gold. That's a good play. But I think he does eventually dip. But yeah, I'm starting to build up my eagle numbers. And then, do I have any of the upgrades? I have the first armor upgrade for the infantry, so that's good. I think he, he dies? I don't know. He did pick up some farmers at some point. Maybe that's after he gets crossbows. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, you really want to walk under here? Great. No problem with that. he dies. Nope. I save him. Good. Do I move? I don't know when I move her. <laughs> move her eventually. I don't think I can see this yet, but I do notice that he's building in the front eventually. Did I hear? I thought I moved her. And she doesn't die here. Oh, maybe she does. Yeah, she does. Okay, never mind. Guess I didn't. All right, seven eagles with three more on the way. I can't afford the second armor. I can't afford the second armor for a long time. Like, I'm just struggling. Look, I need something, yeah. So he's gonna be on two TC way faster than me. Three TC. Yeah, totally untouched at home. Like, like where did his, oh, there's the armor. Yeah, he dies. Does he die? No, okay. I think I have enough eagles to take this, but maybe not. And the, with only one armor, it's, I'm not sure. But I did get the upgrade, so they're eagle warriors instead of eagle scouts. Yeah, he can't one-shot them, but he can still two-shot them, and I can't get this around. His micro is definitely better than mine. So I'm trying to get this around, but every time I try, he like moves the other direction. He's pretty good at microing the archers. 
But so far, so good. I'm like, okay, this is going well. And I didn't see the knights yet. And then here the knights come. I'm like, shoot. But yeah, and plus one, plus one knights. So they will definitely wreck eagles. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm pushing forward. I can send my eagles forward. Nope. Still, yeah, I see the bills. I see this bill. I see that bill. I'm like, ah, oh, I see the stable. I'm like, she. Okay, here we go. I do clear that, which is nice. But then I'm like, crap. I switch into spears. I start getting the pikemen upgrade. Yeah, not ideal. I'm like, you know what? I should raid. He's got too many knights. Like, if it's three eagles versus one knight, maybe. But I'm like, nah, let me try to raid. <laughs> Two of them don't even make it. It's just this one guy on his own trying to raid. Yeah, it's still not great. Um, 65. Uh, sorry, that's not. That's nothing, actually. It's pop capacity. <laughs> yeah, 46 pop to 57. So I'm way behind. He's got six more bills and more military. Four or five more military. So just trying to keep up. What's my idle time? Not the not as bad as his, but he's also on three TCs, I'm only on two, so it'll be, I'll be even further behind on bills at this rate. And I'm like, you know what, I should get a Manga now. Especially after I saw this. Like, I sh but I was still too late with the Manga now, but that's alright. Still nothing, uh, nothing going on at home. My one guy got killed by this knight, I think, so I didn't get to even really see what's going on. Yeah, I got to see this before he died, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I had a TC here at least. That's a lot of knights. Eight knights. It's not enough to take a TC, but it's still a lot. Yeah, I'm going pikes. Mostly pikes at this point with just a few eagles. I'm trying to just do both together. I think that would be a good composition. But I really... Just having these is enough to ruin this push. Because the pikemen will die to that. So I'm like, oh, let's see if I can double click the eagles and get them over here. Nope. I, I did manage to do that, but the pikes are already dead, so it doesn't even matter. I'm like, ah, never mind. Let's just pull back. And then the ram's here, and I'm like, where's my mangonel? Oh, it's only 50%. I was hoping to get a couple monks out too, but look at my gold, man. The eagles cost so much gold, and I'm just not... My eco balance is not that good. These people are still in the TC. <laughs> I'm just really struggling with worker efficiency. Way less than his. But yeah, Ram is an interesting choice. Um, it kind of worked out because the Manganel took so long to get here, but I feel like if I had the Manganel out a little earlier, the Ram would have been a really bad choice. But he does manage to take out the Monastery. <clears throat> I'm like, yes, alright, maybe I can save it, but with the Knights attacking it, it's just not doable. And even two shots, I'm like, why is this Ram not dying? Ah, oh, Ram is still not dead, I'm like, give me a break. Four shots to kill a ram. Does it really take that long? <laughs> Maybe. But at least I have enough military at this point. Because I'm just constantly trying to produce. I'm like, alright. Lost a monastery. He didn't really get in. That's fine. Trying to raid here. I don't think I... Did I notice? It doesn't matter because I don't have the range upgrades. Oh, but he still is within the TC fire. That's great. That kind of worked out for me on accident. But I can't get damage with the pikes. Actually, he does an amazing job keeping the knights alive from the pikes. This is the first time I think I take the military lead. Finally. But it doesn't, I don't think it lasts. Every time I try to fight the knights, he runs into, like, he just runs away or runs to some crossbows. I can never really get a good engagement. I think this might be the best engagement I get. He fights me on this hill. Oh, uh, yeah, he fights me on this hill. No? I still don't have the second armor. Yeah, he fights me here a little bit, so I get some good kills here. Which is better than nothing. And at this point, wow, I didn't know his worker efficiency dropped a lot at this point. I guess from all the night micro. He still wins the fight. Because I don't have enough, and I'm like, finally I can afford the second armor after everybody dies. But at least it's like 8 to 6, I'm catching up on the bills. Even though I'm only on 2 TC, which is nice, I'm happy about that. But, yeah, that's this stable right here. And then I'm just gonna... What happened to the Mangonel? Oh, did he swoop in and kill it? Yeah, I think he swooped in with the knights and killed the Mangonel. 
Yes, I make another one. Okay, I need another manganello. <clears throat> so just trying to stay <laughs> alive. This is supposed to be my next, my my like um ex extended like my third gold, like my um, my expansion gold. But I can't. There's like no way I can get to it right now. I'm, this might have been a good time to drop a TC there. It probably was a good time. But I don't have the wood and I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just like, I have to produce. I have to get military out. I didn't know I was ahead in Vils or like at least matched up. I thought I was behind even at this point because he was just untouched. And at one point I sent some eagles back here and I saw... No, I didn't see the third TC. But I had a feeling he was on three because I saw this one. <clears throat> I'm like, great. Monks on eagles, whatever. I think I get him, but he does get the conversion, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, these guys can't survive. These guys can't survive. There's still too many knights. I still don't have the attack upgrade. I'm relying entirely on <laughs> armor to stay alive for my melee units. I mean, he's going to get hit by the mangonel. Shoot. Yeah, I'm not microing this very well at all. Oh god, is he going to die? Oh no, okay. I'm like, is it even worth taking out the stables? Because he's going to switch off knights eventually. Because of all the pikemen. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I don't hit my units. Yeah, he swoops in and kills this mangonel. I'm like, god. Try to chase the knights and then I see the crossbows. A disaster. Still haven't seen the third TC. Yeah, I'm not microing this for a hot second and I think they all die here. Whack, whack, whack. I'm like, oh man. Another army wasted. Now 26 to 4 military. Not good. 100 to 80 pop. I'm way, way behind. I knew this castle drop was coming. I was like, this is a perfect... I'm about to have enough stone for a castle, so I'm thinking about where I should put my castle. And I'm like, I'd love to put it here, but I can't. There's no way I'd be able to do that. So that's a lot of bills. How many bills is that? 16, 17 bills. Build this castle. I'm like, well, I can't stop that, and I can't build my own castle. So I just build it defensively <laughs> over here, I think. Kind of sad, but it's okay. And maybe if I had a manganella alive or something, I could have done something, but... Nope. <clears throat> at this point, I'm thinking Imp. I'm like, you know what? I could go Imp soon. If I can get Elite Eagles with Eldorado in the last upgrade then I can take on the archers, which is my main concern. This castle couldn't have gone down, like, any any sooner, because holy crap, he's just, he's about to deny it. Honestly, if this house hole was in here, he probably would have denied the castle. Can he see it yet? No, he can't see it yet. But I think he'll see it. And no, he's just looking around. Oh yeah, but then he sees it, but it's too late. It's at 90%. So he runs. And I do have, I keep producing. I keep producing. I'm just like constantly, I'm like, I gotta have military. If I'm gonna age up or get upgrades or whatever, it has to be on the back of military, having military. I can't sacrifice military for upgrades. That's why I still don't have any attack upgrades. <laughs> I don't think I can even afford the final armor when I get into. Yeah, and this is infuriating. Like, dang, I still can't kill any crossbows. So forget it. I'll just go raid then. <clears throat> but yeah, he still has the knights, so it's kind of hard. But yeah, I still got eagles in queue. Still making eagles as many as I can. <clears throat> Finally, my third TC goes down. <laughs> a million years later. But I'm keeping up with the vil count, despite being on two TCs. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, half the mil less than half the military numbers. I try to raid. I do find this gold, and I notice there's nothing on it. Oh, this, yeah, I, I ran past it. I was like, oh, there's nothing on the gold. Great. I'm like, maybe I have enough eagles to take these knights. I should have known that without forging, it was a bad call. And with the micro, look, he's microing them. So I think I lose this engagement, which is sad. I was like, man, I just... And he had more anyway. I should have ran through and seen if there's anything exposed, and then like maybe hit this gold or this stone, but it wouldn't have mattered. The knights would have chased me anyway. Yeah, I try to just go see what's going on. 
<clears throat> but I'm like, TC's everywhere. Nice chasing me. This is a disaster. Yeah, I run over here, but I think he sends these two nice. There's like nothing. I can't even raid. <clears throat> but I make it into Imp. I'm pretty far ahead of him. I can't... I'm, I don't know why I'm not building a tra... Oh, I'm trying to afford Elite Eagle. That's what I'm trying to do. I think I sell a bunch of stuff. Yeah. There we go. Elite Eagle. Pretty sure. It must be queued behind an Eagle. Warrior. Or something. Yeah, there it is. Why is it here? There was like nothing in these barracks. Oh well. <clears throat> like, I don't know what my Manganel can do here and however many 20 Eagles, it's not enough. 44 crossbows. Still behind in the military count by a lot. Raid goes nowhere. But I'm like, huh, no one's on this gold still? <clears throat> At some point I'm like, I should just take it. So, the castle in my face. Huge military. He's taking all of my golden stones, so that's awful. Especially when I'm trying to mass eagles, which cost a ton of gold. I'm getting the treb out. I have a ton on wood. I still haven't scouted this gold, which is a disaster. I'm not taking any relics, which is another problem. I could have at least taken this relic. And then maybe this one too. But he's going to be an imp soon with arbalest. I do have forging, but I don't have the second attack. I don't have the last armor. I try to take this fight. 54 crossbows versus 28 eagles. At least they're elites. So I'm hoping that's enough. So I push back. And then I see these knights. I think I send a Meganel down there. But yeah, I'm like, man, I can't get this around. And then here's a perfect choke point. So I think I dip. Yeah, I'm like, nope. Fuck it. Not worth it. But I do start driving the castle, so I'm happy about that. I'm like, alright, at least I got some defensive pressure. I'm not just sitting back. <clears throat> and I should think about going a trash unit, because I'm really banking up food and wood, but I'm just not sure what trash unit. I could go skirms for the arbalest. That might have been a good idea. But then I was worried about more knights. But then again, knights are a bad play. They don't scale that well for Ethiopians, even though I think they get cavalier, but they don't get the last armor. But still, they would wreck skirms. So I was like, oh, I, st I still think like skirms is a bad idea. But then I have all this food for no reason. Like, why do I have all this food? But yeah, well, my raiding army goes forward. At least I have something in the like saved up in the base. So I'm happy about that. But there's a castle here now. There's like nothing I can raid that's safe. So I'm like, I'll do some raiding under the TC. It's not the end of the world. At least I can idle his eco. His resources are still looking really good. At this point, I've got a solid build lead, though. 105 to 84. So I'm really happy about that. But, dude. 55 cro- I mean, there's enough cro- uh, Arbalest to take out my trebs. 55 arbs. Can't take my main gold that I started the game with. <laughs> this tower does nothing. I think this treb goes down. And done. Like, shoot. At least these knights are dead. I should have made way more barracks than I did, actually. I, mean, I made this one, but I should have made more. I think I eventually dropped some more barracks. How's the raid going? Nowhere. Yeah, I'm just doing a little harass, but... Are there bills in here? No, just knights. Yeah, it's just like nothing. I'm like, oh, okay, this wood line. I think I noticed this wood line. And I'm like, okay, well, that's something I can do. It's like, I might as well destroy these archer ranges. I don't know what else to do. He's like breaking into my main base. He's got an unanswered Trev. He's got an unanswered Arbalest army. This is not enough eagles. Even elite eagle. Do I have Eldorado yet? Let me check. Yeah, I have Eldorado. So I have the Mayan unique tech that gives them another 40 hit points. They have 100 HP, which is awesome. And so I'm taking this gold. I've been taking it for a while. So I'm like, maybe I can take this gold. <laughs> but I think I, I think he sees one of my bills and then that doesn't work out so I, I'll pay, yeah see this is a disaster but I, I still haven't built back barracks that's a problem I should have look at how much wood I have I should have had those back barracks up way earlier 
Not that I really have the gold for it. Yes, one of these archers goes around this wood line and he notices that. I'm like, dang, really? Really? That's a disaster. <laughs> but I guess that's the risk, of course, of just running forward with all those pills. I kind of had a feeling that my eco was pretty strong, so I'm like, all right, if I lose those bills, I'll just make more. And I think I'll be all right. But yeah, I have no more gold. I still haven't found that gold. I'm about to GG. I'm like, well, I have the three trebs. I'm getting conscription. I'm starting to drop the barracks finally. He runs into the castle fire, so I'm like, okay. He might take a treb out or two, but I'll start wiping out his gold units. Trying to repair the treb, even with like 80 villagers, <laughs> it still goes down. It's insane. It's insane. I'm like, I don't, I was not microing those eagles. They shouldn't be back here. They're going to die and kill nothing. I could have at least tasked them to the treb. Nope, they're just dying. Man, Ethiopian arbalists. But yeah, I don't get this gold. I think I lost all those bills. Now we're even. And I think it also reminds him to take that gold. So that's not great. <laughs> that is not great at all. Both of our worker efficiencies are really bad. Mine is still somehow worse. But yeah. It's like, I think all these bills die. Still trying to mass eagles. So I'm like, eagles is still the play, I think. Still the play. Although I probably could have mixed in a bunch of scrims at this point. So that's kind of a mistake. But I couldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to get the upgrades anyway. So I don't know if it really matters. But yeah, at this point I'm like, it doesn't matter. I just need eagles. I just need enough bills to just keep producing eagles. It doesn't even matter. I've got eagles with Eldorado. I'm finally getting the last armor. Holy crap, that took forever. What are they doing? Eight dam or no, six plus four. <laughs> it's not eight. Ten damage. And I have I only have eight pierce armor, so the extra pierce armor will make a huge difference. So it'll cut their damage on me in half. I still have a couple trebs alive, I'm just hiding them. I'm like, God, please don't kill the trebs. Just don't kill the trebs. <sighs> All the eagles die. I should have waited for the upgrade, but I got I guess I got scared that he'd get into my base too far. I mean, he was all the way back here, so what else was I going to do? TC go, another TC goes down. This, I don't think this does anything. <laughs> yeah, he can outrange the Manganel by a lot now. Yeah, I get one. One Arbalest for a Manganel. Not ideal. But I have the last armor. I'm getting the second attack, so finally. I think that's... I could have done a lot better. If I had prioritized the upgrades, I think my other eagle armies would have done a lot more damage. Still haven't taken my main gold. Alright, now he's migrating over here. <clears throat> yeah, get that Trev. Little Trev snipe. Not the best, not the worst. Still has this one trab and this castle's still under threat. I have to remass all the eagles. How many barracks do I have now? Just the four? Six. Okay. Six barracks. Oh yeah, I built a couple more. I mean, that's fine. I can barely keep up eagle production anyway, so I guess that works out okay. But I did find this gold. Yeah. I, I noticed that gold, which was really lucky. I needed that. That gold saved my life. Okay, I'm like, all right, let's try this one more time. I'm just going to keep trying to whittle down these arms. Now, does he repair the castle? I think so. Or maybe he's trying to build another one. Yeah, I think he brought these bills forward to build another one. Yeah, I get the treb snipe. This castle stays up, thankfully. Super, that was a close one. I'm like, okay, at this point, full armor, almost full attack. Um, and I have Eldorado. They should do really well now. So I, I do my push. This is a great, great timing for the push. And I pulled the traps right away, so I'm happy about that. He finally finds this, but the gold is gone. I got the gold. I sent a few bills back to get sacrificed and sent the rest over for this stone, which I assumed was untouched, and I turned out to be right. Now finally, finally. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I took out a castle. <laughs> well, now I have 57 bills to 77, so I'm way behind. 
Um, but I have the military lead. <laughs> Even though I'm behind in total pop still. But at this point I think Arbalests are obsolete. Right? Unless he gets another huge mass, even this many eagles, I could pretty much hunt down any like small group that he's trying to rebuild. So I was kind of like, you know what, I should clear this. I should clear some of this stuff. And he already took all of this gold, so that's not great. We kind of traded. I took this gold <laughs> and he took this one. But he also took all this stone, so that wasn't great. I wasn't happy about that, but whatever. Like, maybe I should clear this, but then I was like, you know what, if I spend all this time clearing this, I think I'm going to lose the game. Because it'll give him a chance to tech switch, or to reboom, or even to get so another Arbalest mass somewhere. So I'm like, let me keep looking around. So I start splitting my army up, but I see, yeah, I had a feeling this was happening. Well, most likely he'll be on this gold. I'm like, you know what, I think I have enough eagles to challenge this, even without the siege. But I do send my trebs over. I'm like, get over there. And then constant, look, five eagle production, just constantly. I'm just like swarmed on this gold. I think I went back to my main, yeah, went back to my main gold. So I'm just like, let me just kill as many bills as possible. I'm, I'm not sure. I guess this castle was protecting a gold mine, but now it's just some farms. Anyway. So I see these vills, I'm like, I should chase them, but then he brings them back, so I'm like, forget it. And then I notice he doesn't have murder holes, which I'm really happy about. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't want them to get whittled down by the castle. It's too risky. I really need this army to stay alive if I'm going to have a chance. So I'm like, well, if he's going to run with the vills, I'll chase. If he's not going to run with the vills, then I'll just stay under the castle. Try not to keep losing them to castle fire. And I know he has all the, like, he has, oh, I was sure he had Bracer and Ballistics, and I know you can see he has Chemistry, so. I was like, he'll, they'll decimate my Eagles if they keep getting hit. So yeah, I'm just trying to reboom. I've got Villager Production going again. I'm on the gold. And uh, he calls it, which is awesome. I gave the GG back, but it's after the game ended, so you can't see it in the recording. I gave him a GG to well played actually, and I told him it was a it was really good pressure. But yeah, he was trying to tech switch into into champions at the end. So I I saw these barracks and I was like, I need to take them out so he can't fully tech switch into champions. But he doesn't really have food eco. He has no gold left. I think that's why he tapped out. He couldn't afford to tech switch. But there's a couple of two handed swordsmen on the scene. I think pretty sure I saw a couple of them out of the barracks yeah yeah here's a few yeah he doesn't have the infantry upgrade so it's gonna be really expensive he doesn't have the champion oh he's getting the plus two armor he doesn't have the champion tech but I thought I was even if he was tech switching I was like I can I can catch him and raid him if he's trying to tech switch I can catch him I just keep looking around but yeah, GG. I really didn't think I was going to win that one, actually. I mean, I won with a lower score, which is funny. But yeah. 234 eagles. I still can't believe I made more eagles than he had arbalests. That's a ton of arbalests. Look at the stats real quick. Yeah, I think, yeah, the KD in, in his favor, 316 to 279, <laughs> not great, not great. And the buildings raised, way more buildings raised. The one, one conversion, the one eagle, and the army high. Yeah, what is this, military population? Yeah, just constantly getting, throwing you armies away, just constantly throwing armies away. Even this was really bad. What was this? Must have been the the knight and the or the pikeman. I think this is when the pikeman got killed. But then I'm losing eagles, but I'm whittling down the arms. Losing eagles, whittling down the arms, and finally getting all the arms. It's crazy. That was crazy difficult. Eco. I am shocked in hindsight that I out collected him. I mean, I had a feeling that my eco was a little stronger, but with all the damage I took, 
and the fact that I never really pressured him at home, just a little kind of like ineffective raids here and there, this was pretty surprising. But I was pretty happy about it. Everything but stone, which is which is good. Although just barely. Well, that's about 2, 2k gold, so I guess that's more than I thought. But yeah. Just barely ahead to each age. Maybe Imp, Imp was the, the one I was the most ahead with. But just barely kind of ahead. Same feudal, very similar castle times. Yeah, the Ville, the Ville High said, it, said a lot. I was like, oh, okay, nice. That's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, that's when I went out for that side gold. <laughs> Everyone died. RIP. And then APM. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, his military micro was better than mine, for sure. For sure. Especially with the crossbows versus the eagles, that was really well done. And with the knights, man, couldn't I couldn't take... It took only one decent engagement against the knights. Otherwise, he kept them moving. Kept, uh, kept bringing the crossbows in to kill all the pikes. But yeah, that's it. That's game. Good game. <laughs>